Father God, I come into prayer. Lord God, just thank you because of who you are, Father. For you are truly the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending. Lord God, as I get ready to bring this word forth, Holy Spirit, I pray that this old flesh will stand down. And I ask humbly for the Holy Spirit to stand up, Lord, and speak. Let it not be my voice that's heard. Lord, and let it be your voice that's heard, Lord God. Because you say, my sheep should know my voice. And a stranger's voice, thou will not follow. Father, I ask you to take the scales off your people's eyes. Lord, help them to see. Father, help them to get up and rise up. In the mighty name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, I said, get up. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen, amen, amen. This prophetic word that the Lord dropped in my spirit. I was cooking. The word is get up and rise up now. The Lord is commanding you to rise up out of that dead, dry place in the mighty name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus. The Lord is speaking to somebody. The Lord is speaking to somebody. Take this word to God in prayer. But I know that this word is for somebody. OK, I'm seeing the emails coming and so many people are just giving up. My God, so many people are losing their jobs. But can I tell you, mm, it's all working out for your good. The Lord is giving you a story for his glory. You will live and you will not die. I decree and I declare this in the mighty name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus. I said you will live and you will not die in the mighty name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Father. And this is what the Lord put in my spirit. He gave me. He took me back to Lazarus. Somebody need to hear this. Somebody need to hear this. Stay with me because this is going to bless somebody in the mighty name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus. This is coming from John 11, 38 through 44. I placed this in a description box. This is the New International Version. I want to break it down, make sure you understand. Jesus, once more deeply moved, came to the tomb. It was a cave with a stone laid across the entrance. Take away the stone, he said. But Lord, said Martha, the sister of the dead man, by this time there is a bad odor, for he has been there for four days. Four days. Now he's been laying in there, okay? Four days. Then Jesus said, did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? The Lord is speaking to somebody. This thing going to resonate in your spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. You're going to raise up. you rising up out of that dead, dry place in the mighty name of Jesus by the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Father. So they took away the stone. Then Jesus looked up and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. Mm, speak that thing into existence. I knew that you always hear me. I know you always hear me. But I said this for the benefit of the people standing here, that they may believe that you sent me. When he, when he had said this, Jesus called in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. Mm, the Lord calling you, Lazarus, get up in the mighty name of Jesus, out of that dead, dry place of feeling sorry for yourself. Mm, the Lord speaking for speaking to somebody now. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord say, come out, come out. And the dead man came out, his hands and feet wrapped, straps of linen, a cloth around his face. Jesus said to him, take the grave clothes off and let him go. Mm, the Lord is calling you to take off the, the grave clothes right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah, you may have lost that job. Yeah, you may be sick. Yeah, you may have lost your home and your vehicle, but it ain't over until God says over. Mm, I'm going to say this again. It's not over until God says over. Mm, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. The Lord is calling you to get up, to raise up, to rise up out of that dead, dry place and take those grave clothes off of feeling sorry for yourself, of feeling like you're not going to make it. You will make it. You will live and you will not die. I decree and I declare this in the mighty name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus. You will live to see the promises of God fulfilled in your life. Thank you, Jesus. I'm about to share a testimony with you guys that you may have heard me share before. And this testimony was, was a lady, okay, that was working for the state. And she, they got rid of her. They didn't like the lady. She was a, she was a Christian. She believed in God. She had a strong relationship with God, a very strong relationship with God. But they fired this lady. Sometimes they'll get rid of you these jobs, not because of anything you did wrong. Okay, it, it's your spirit mm, that's rubbing them. Because whenever you carry the spirit of the Lord, you, you're going to set it off. You're going, you're going to change the whole atmosphere. Mm. And if it's an atmosphere of darkness, they're going to feel your presence. They're going to feel the presence of the Lord and they're not going to want you there. The Lord is speaking to somebody. The Lord is speaking to somebody. But let me tell you something, what happened to this lady. Okay, she praised God after they fired her. 
from the state. She praised God all the way to the parking lot. People thought that she was crazy. Mm. But can I tell you, a few months later, when we heard from her, this lady had a better job making twice double the amount of money working for the government. God is not done with you yet. God got something greater in store for you in the mighty name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus. I remember when I moved here to Texas, I cried all the way here feeling sorry for myself. I had done lost everything, my home, all the little bit of stuff I had left. I had to give that away because I didn't have any room on a U-Haul it, okay? I want you to hear me. This going to resonate in somebody's spirit because God getting ready to do a new thing in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. You thinking it's over, but the father sent me to tell you right now, come on, Holy Spirit, that it ain't over. He calling you to get up right now now in the mighty name of Jesus out of that place of feeling sorry take off the gray clothes of, I can't make it my family don't love you love me I ain't got nobody you got Jesus and you got breath in your body you still got a chance to, to turn this thing around let me tell you something the Bible say everything works out for the good of those that love the Lord it's all working out for your good in the mighty name of Jesus by the blood of Jesus the Lord is speaking to somebody the Lord the Lord is speaking to somebody mm, like I always say the scripture vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it won't lie the vision won't lie at the end, it was speaking. It won't lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. It will surely come. The vision won't tarry long. The Lord is speaking to somebody. Yeah, it may be tearing, but it won't tarry long. Mm, if you just hold on and know that God is God. Mm, God is speaking to somebody. He is speaking to somebody today. Thank you, Jesus. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, that this word reach whom it need to reach. Because the Lord calling you to raise up right now. To rise up. Get up now. In the mighty name of Jesus and take those grave clothes off. Okay, that job gone. Let's get another one in the mighty name of Jesus. Some of you call to be entrepreneurs anyway. And the Lord had to push you out of that place where you was because he got so much greater in store for you. Some of you get ready to walk into greater. Somebody put in the comment section, I'm walking to greater. Somebody put in the comment section, it ain't over. It ain't over till God says over. Thank you, Jesus. And somebody wrote me and said something about a place. And I took that thing to God in prayer and forgot about it. And early this morning when I woke up, I woke up and I saw something with the news where they was talking about the, how the, the prices of the places was going up. Okay. Especially in Florida. I'm speaking to somebody. This is going to resonate. You already know who you are. Okay. And I heard in my spirit, he put you on my heart so strong. He said, tell him to wait. Mm, peace be still. And know that I am God. Let me tell you something. You cannot miss what God have for you. Okay. When you trust it and, and seeking after the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You cannot miss it when you trust it and seeking in the Lord and trying to live your life right. The Lord won't let you miss it. Let me tell you something. You will make it wherever you're supposed to be. The Lord will make sure you get there. If he got to send you help to get you there. I'm a witness because he did it for me without a dime in my pocket. The Lord made a way for me to get here in Texas. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. And still making a way. Who is the Lord speaking to today? Thank you, Father. To God be the glory. I just had to bring this message. I was in the kitchen, about to set it on fire in here. And I just heard the Holy Spirit speaking in my spirit. And another thing I want to address, I got messages about um, how somebody harassing people in the comment section. Okay, it's been reported. If you see it, report it. I'm going to tell you now. I can't catch everything. I'm not going to be able to catch everything. I try and I report what I see. But let me tell you something. Sometimes we got to pick and choose our battles. Because mm, it's going to be demons everywhere. Paul say, whenever I try to do good, evil is always present with me. Let me tell you something. The higher up that God take us, the more demons you're going to see. But thank you, Jesus, because he have equipped us with the whole armor of God to be able to withstand the wiles of the devil. Thank you, Jesus. We don't have time to wrestle with these jelly bags demons. Come on now. These jelly bag small demons. We trying to win souls for the for the Lord. We don't have time to address all these little issues. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. If you see it, report it. If I see it, I report it. But we're going to keep it moving because mm, we unstoppable. Thank you, Jesus. We are movable, unshakable, unbreakable. Thank you, Father, and undefeated because our Father that we serve is undefeated. Thank you, Jesus. To God be the glory and all the honor. You coming up out of that dead, dry place and you coming back with a testimony in the mighty name of Jesus by the blood of Jesus. Thank you, God. Peace be still and know that he is God. God bless until next time. Bye.